Hello everyone, so uh, I'm going to carry on the guided tour of the resources here. I've just arrived on a desert planet. Uh, I'm getting close to a bit of combat here as well. Let's uh, blast these guys. There we go, there we go. Okay, yeah, so first of all, show the oil, because uh, the oil was the first resource I made. Oh, let's, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of all this stuff I've got. So you can just drop it out there. Let's see if I can find some oil. Yeah, here we go. So the rocks have oil. I'll just show it sloshing around as well, because it, it's a simple enough effect, but I got it to kind of change its X and Y proportions there. So you see it sloshing up and down, and it just shows that it's liquid. And, you know, it's kind of weird. Like, it's a liquid that's been put into this ball. Maybe your ship has somehow put it into this form. It's in some kind of thin membrane. I don't know. The, but it, it's, it looks pretty neat. And the, the sloshing sounds, I've got a video about this on TikTok made with uh, just a bottle of bleach. It's, you can just get a bottle of bleach, shake it into your microphone, and you get good sloshing sounds. So if you want sloshing sounds like I sometimes do, <laughs> get your, just take a bottle of bleach. And if you don't have bleach in your bathroom, well, maybe you should anyway. Just so use it for sound effects first and then use the bleach. Uh, the other thing is lithium. So, I, I, honestly, I kind of struggled for a second resource in the desert planets because most of them are... They're mostly kind of empty desert space that's deliberate. And then you've got rocks around the place. So I, I looked up some stuff on ChatGPT, tried to do a bit of a science for these things. Ooh. But, uh, ouch. Yeah, tried to do a bit of science for these things, but, uh... Honestly, I kind of groped my way towards lithium, and, uh... That's what we got. But I know lithium is useful for some things. I think you can use it in computers or something. So there's at least going to be plausible uses for lithium and it, it's not completely ad hoc. But uh, let's go to a different planet. And yes, uh, we found a islands planet here. So I'll show the islands. I'm, I'm a lot happier with the islands. You may have seen a bit of a, a glitchiness there in the, the solar system background. There's something I want to work on. Oh, and lucky us, it's a rainy one as well. I think we're about to be attacked. Yes, it's attack. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, that was actually kind of neat. Like, I was paying so much attention to that machine gun plane that the, uh, the red lightning thing got me. That's... Well done me, I guess. That's kind of exactly the sort of thing I want to have. Like, more than one threat that has interesting stuff. We can uh, go over that later. So originally, these planets just had bananas growing in the trees. I looked up some stuff about bananas and melons and some of the graphics I have. Apparently bananas do not grow on trees. They grow on things that look a lot like trees, but they're really bushes. But honestly, whatever. Who cares? It's an alien planet, and uh, I'm not trying to do a, a nature documentary here, so I, I, I'm just going to take that one on the chin, I think. They are bananas, they grow, the, whatever these are, they look a lot like trees, and bananas grow on them. Uh, I also looked up some stuff about melons. Apparently they grow on smaller plants that might be near other trees, just about. Because uh, one of the things I'm trying to do with the items here is I want to sp you want you want to be able to know what you're going to get. So I don't want you, like, digging stuff up just to find out what it is. I want you to know that this is going to be a melon. So this is going to be a melon. Yes. And there we go. And I should say, full disclosure, the, the graphics here come from the, the Wayukian Minecraft pack. I have emailed Wayukian. They told me I could use it. They're in the credits. Everything's above board. And it's nice because I really like that, that Minecraft texture pack. So let's get some melons. I, I think right now the melons and the uh, bananas are the same value even. Somehow I feel like there ought to be a, a quest later on to uh, make a fruit salad or something. It just seems like that's, that's what we've got here, you know? Some guy wants to make the ultimate smoothie and he wants one of every fruit or something and you, you put that together. Just things like that, because right now all you can do is take these ingredients and then sell them. 
Oh, and uh, let's go find some water, yes. So the shallow water should have these kind of tropical fish in it. So far all the fish are just called fish. I might distinguish them later. It's not impossible I could even have some sort of fishing game to get them, but right now it makes enough sense that... Ooh. Gotta say, actually, my combat's okay now. My combat's pretty good. The new co it's all actually available on the demo now. The, the new combat update is there. So if you want to try the fights, the new resources aren't in yet, but the combat update will have the new fighting stuff. Uh, yeah, and if you see in the bottom left there, I've got this uh, indicator that shows how close you are to an encounter. So it gives you some sort of warning about where they might be. It's not completely obvious, but... There we go, there we go. I'll see if I can get me uh, deep water. I, I also looked up a bit about whether you get more fish in deep water or shallow water. It sounds like you get more fish in shallow water. I actually forget if I got... Do I, have, do I even have fish in the deep water? Are there less fish? I think there's just less fish. Whatever I did, I'm sure it was the right thing based on science. Anyway, I, <laughs> I will awkwardly end the video there and uh, I'll, I'll carry on showing you guys the resources coming up in the, the next video on Super Space Galaxy. Do you have a game idea you've always wanted to make but don't know how to get started? My coaching is designed to help you finish your first game in Click Team Fusion 2.5. Click the link in the description to join my Discord server, and let's get you on the path to being the game developer you always wanted to be.